This is Boston. Yep. You say Boston? Is his name? This is Boston. On the Gold Coast, German Shepherd Boston has been rushed into the Animal Emergency Service after his owner found him on the floor, unable to walk. Hey, big man. Vets Dr Alex Hines and Dr Gerardo Poli need to urgently find out what's wrong with this distressed shepherd. Oh, you are the owners man. came home, or they were away last night, and they came back this morning and um, found out he couldn't really walk properly. Oh, he's breathing. Sounds a bit noisy too. Yeah. So just not walking properly? Anything else? Yeah, as far as I'm aware, I think they think it's a tick. OK. Paralysis ticks are so deadly because they inject a poison that causes widespread paralysis, not only of the back legs, but also of the breathing muscles, and that's life-threatening. I don't know how we would ever find a tick with all this hair. Should be a prize for the person who wins, eh? Who finds the tick? Yeah. Gosh, it's hard to even get your fingers down right down to his skin. Boston is showing all the signs of a patient severely affected by tick paralysis. Every breath is laboured, he can't stand, he's in real trouble. If left untreated, tick paralysis can cause death in dogs in as little as 24 hours. It's okay. Oh, it's OK. I know, so many hands over you, mate, so many hands. This is back, lots of pats. I think I can feel something. Oh, if you found that that quick, you must have magic hands. Oh, there we go. That's a pretty big tick there as well. Ouch. Oh, it's still moving, its legs are moving. Yeah. You're right to hold him, so st I'm, let me see if I can pull it out. This might hurt a little bit, because his skin looks really sore around here. Good boy, Boston. Oh, God, this thing doesn't want to let go. a pretty big tick there. Ouch. Back on the Gold Coast, Alex and Gerardo are trying to remove a deadly tick that has paralysed German Shepherd Boston. Oh, God, this thing doesn't want to let go. Oh, I'm sorry, oh, mate. Good go. boy. Wow. It's amazing how something that small can have such a deadly impact. Yeah. It's pretty incredible, isn't it? He's such a big dog. But that would be enough to cause the kind of paralysis that he's showing. I think he'd benefit from some, some sedation, wouldn't he? Yeah. He's just, even to help that, that upper airway breathing. Now that we've found the tick, it's vital that we get Boston onto some oxygen because I can see that he's already suffering from breathing paralysis. And then we can start the tick anti-serum. We're still gonna have to clip all his hair off because we don't know that there's not another one there. But in the short term, he really needs the tick anti-serum because the toxin is circulating around his system at the moment. And the quicker we get the anti-serum on board, that will allow it to start neutralising the toxin. Come on through. Before starting treatment, Alex is bringing through owners Rebecca, Wade and Little Harlow to say goodbye to Boston. You couldn't go and not say goodbye, I think, and especially for my little one. have got to give him love and stuff like that and make sure he's OK before we leave. There he is. It wouldn't be home without Boston. He makes our family whole. He's the best dog. He's just so good with our little one. She climbs all over him, and he's just so patient with her and loves her. I feel like with dogs, when you look into the eyes, you can kind of see what's going on, and he looks very sad, struggling. He looks sad. He's a bit sad, yeah. We cut on Kissy, say goodbye. OK, guys, and say, see you soon, Boston. I really want to clip Boston's hair to be sure there are no other ticks, but he's too unstable. We're going to have to leave him for tonight, and tomorrow morning, hopefully, he'll be well enough that we can do the clip. I'm really worried about him, Jodie. At the Animal Emergency Service on the Gold Coast, four-year-old tick paralysis patient Boston has taken a turn for the worse. We've given Boston sedation and that's helped, but his oxygen levels are dropping. I want to get the tick anti-serum on board, but at this stage, I have to get him stable. His oxygen levels are dangerously low. Come on, Mr Boston. Hey. I'm becoming concerned that we're going to have to intubate him, take control of his airway and put him on life support. It's, it's really gurgly. I was wondering if 
if we even got a suction in, even in his mouth. Hear that? Mm. He's real gurgly. We try an oxygen mask, but Boston's fighting it. It feels claustrophobic. I know we're going to need to put a nasal line in if we're going to help him with his oxygen levels. This is definitely better than him just having a mask in front of his face he doesn't tolerate. And it's much better than him breathing room air, so he needs this. Boston's oxygen levels improve and we don't have to intubate. We're going to wait to clip the rest of Boston's coat. We know there was one tick, there could be more, but at the moment the priority is to get the tick serum on board. Yeah. Okay, that's running. Once that's into his bloodstream, neutralising the toxin, I'm hoping we'll get him to turn the corner. You can hear that noise that he's making. Each breath is taking extra effort, and that's a real worry. If his breathing slows down, then that's where we start to need to intervene, and we may even need to take over the work of breathing for him. Oh, mate. There's not a lot more I can do for Boston right now, but I am really worried. I'm going to be checking up through the night, and I can't help thinking about that family at home who are just hoping he's going to pull through this. It's touch and go. There we go. OK. Good boy, Boston. It's, it's quiet in here, mate. At the Animal Emergency Service on the Gold Coast, Boston's condition has worsened. The German Shepherd is battling deadly tick paralysis, and Gerardo is deeply concerned. Boston's pretty serious at the moment. So what's happened is the toxin has still had an effect, and the antiserum mops up the toxin in the bloodstream, but there's still toxin bound to his nerves, and that's his own immune system left to get rid of that over time. So generally what happens is a little bit of a deterioration over the next sort of six or 12 hours and he's kind of deteriorated quite rapidly. Boston has been transferred to the intensive care unit as his condition is now critical. The nursing care is a bit more intensive, so hopefully that's enough to keep him stable, keep him comfortable, so we don't have to progress his care into mechanical life support. Oh, Boston. At the Animal Emergency Service on the Gold Coast, German Shepherd Boston's condition has continued to deteriorate. You're really paralysed now. What happened? It all just went downhill. Your family is going to be so worried about you. We knew that this could happen, Boston, hey, but I was really hoping it wouldn't. But you definitely are worse than yesterday. Alex fears the poison from a deadly paralysis tick may have done too much damage before the antivenom could take effect. He's now got two oxygen lines in. He's definitely still putting a lot of effort into breathing. We're worried about what we can hear on his chest sounds and we think he might have aspirated, so we think he's developed pneumonia. So we're going to want to take some chest x-rays and then we'll know how bad this is. Good boy. In we go, Boston. Good boy. It's OK. Okay, thanks, Bella. All right, we're ready. All right. Boston's X-ray, it doesn't look very good at all. What I'm seeing is almost complete consolidation of the lung. This is pneumonia on a massive scale. This has added a whole level of complexity to Boston's condition. It means that not only is he dealing with the tick paralysis, but he's got a severe pneumonia. That, and this could be the part that's life-threatening now. Sorry, mate, you're going to lose all of that beautiful hair. Sounds buddy. <sighs> With paralysis tick patient Boston's health deteriorating, the decision is made for vet Elise and vet nurse Natalie to go ahead with clipping his fur in search of further ticks. Poor Boston. He's now got paralysis and pneumonia. We've started antibiotics for the pneumonia, but the next step is to clip this hair off. We've got to make sure there's no more ticks. I'm amazed that they found the first tick under all this hair. Boston is now at the stage where he's completely paralysed in his body. He can lift his head, look around a little bit, but 
that's about all he can do. What that means is we have to help him with all his bodily functions. He can't even go to the toilet on his own. So we're going to need to put a urinary catheter in. We have to put cream in his eyes because his blinking is affected. All these things become paralysed as part of the condition. I'm worried there could be another tick there. 10% of patients have a second tick. And if he has a second tick somewhere hiding in this big furry coat, then it will kill him. Boston's owners, Beck and Wade, have come for a visit, desperate to see their sick boy. But a decision has been made to keep them at a distance. It's extremely hard um, for owners not to be able to come in and visit when they have tick paralysis. But um, we have seen um, animals before, like Boston, that are just coping OK on their own, that when they see their owners, they get so excited and their bodies just can't cope with that extra bit of stress. So. Yeah, you know, you always think they're going to be so much better coming in and seeing you, um, but actually in this case, it can be really dangerous for them. He's getting all his hair off. Poor thing. Yeah. He looks so sad. Yeah. So we were obviously just hoping to go see him and just give him a cuddle, make sure that he was doing OK, and to reassure that we're still here and, you know, hoping for the best for him sort of thing. and. I don't know, didn't know really what to expect. We got a, um, lots of phone calls last night, which was really good. Just kept us, you know, in the lurk and know what was going on. So, um, yeah, we just wanted to see an improvement. So what sort of journey do you think he's going to be on? The pneumonia, to be honest, has set him back a little bit. OK. Yeah, because it's just given him another thing to fight. Okay. So it really is a matter of just watch and wait a little bit. There's only so much we can do for him, do you know what I mean? Yeah. And, and a lot of it's it's going to be up to Boston to fight this. I feel very nervous, constantly just anxious, because we just don't know what's going to happen, because um, obviously he's got pneumonia as well. So he's got an extra thing he needs to fight and get through. So um, Boston's not out of the woods. It's sort of touch and go. The clip is over. It was a marathon effort, but well worth it. And we're done. Good boy. Good boy. No more hair for you. And we didn't find a second tick? No, we no. didn't find any additional ticks. OK. I feel much better now the hair's off. We know for sure it's just that one tick that was causing the problem. So I think at this stage, we've really done everything we can for him. He's had his clip. He's had his tick anti-serum. It's really up to Boston now to fight this and get better and get home. Yeah. Boston, how are you doing this morning? Are you still on your oxygen by the look of it? On the Gold Coast, tick paralysis patient Boston is still in intensive care, and Alex can't relax just yet. It's been two days since Boston came into intensive care. It's good to see that the paralysis is wearing off, but the pneumonia, it still has him in the danger zone. That breathing sound still sounds a bit rough, hey, mate? Hey, you just look tired. How are you going with your walking? I just wonder if we might give you a little bit of a trial around and see if you can get up and about. He's blinking and he wasn't able to blink when he first came through into the ICU. So those things, as they improve, they tell us that it's less the paralysis that's holding him back at the moment and more the pneumonia. You're going to show me what you can do? You can come for a little walk? Come on. Good boy. That was really good. Hey? Take it slow. Oh, you're off. That's great. Good job, Boston. Yeah, there's not much of you under there. Now you've got no fur. Oh, oh no, no, don't go check out the other patients. If you're walking that well, you might even be up for some food pretty soon. Good boy. It may not seem like a good thing to see a dog wee inside, but this is really good for Boston. It's an important step in the recovery of tick paralysis because it really shows us that paralysis is starting to wear off and he's able to resume those normal bodily functions on his own. So good on Boston for having a wee. Is that your bit of exercise for today? Do you want to hop back into bed? I think you'd be better off in bed. Good boy. Can you sit down? Oh, yeah. I know. Get you connected to your oxygen again. I can't even think about Boston going home until he's off the oxygen and breathing on his own. Right now, he's a long way from that. You're feeling much better now, aren't you, Boston? Hey, you're such a good boy. Hey, you want to go home today? 
That'll be pretty exciting. I'm gonna see your family again. Good boy, yeah. It's been five days since German Shepherd Boston was bitten by a deadly paralysis tick and left fighting for life. After a week in intensive care, he's finally on the mend. Hey, how's it going? Hey, yeah, really well. Um, he is doing fantastic. So what's the verdict? Is he, do you think he's good enough to go home? Yeah, I think he's ready to come home. He is off oxygen, um, he's had some dinner, and he's up and walking around. That's so good. Hey, Boston. Hey. Are you a good boy? <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, buddy. I am so thrilled that Boston is going home today. There were moments where I wasn't sure if he was going to survive, and just being able to take him out to his family, this is going to be incredible. Does he look a bit different? Yeah, he looks a lot different. He's so different. Buddy. Oh, boy. Hey, buddy. Hey. Yeah. Hey, buddy. What do you think, Harlo? Did you still know it was Boston? Do you know it's Boston? Yeah. Hello, boy. Oh, that's honestly, that's the happiest he's... He still looks a bit unsure. He was like, oh, <laughs> Hey, boy. There's a boy. Hey, boy. He looks so different. He wants to take the He's still our baby. Yeah. Yeah. It can be really tough as an emergency vet. It's long hours, it's tough work, there's big decisions to be made. But seeing patients like Boston go home today, it's so worthwhile. This is why we do it. Eddie, you be a good boy. Are you going to take him out? Yeah, he's not going to oh, be not that way. Just wait, <laughs> Boston, come on. That's a good boy. Yeah. Yeah, hold on tight. Hi, I'm Dr Danny Dusek from Bondi Vet. If you love our show and want to see more, plus some amazing content about pets and how to care for them, hit the subscribe button. Click that little notification bell and we'll see you on our next video.